YouTube, Zookeeper here. Enjoy this update from the workshop. Time for new belt and idler bearings. To replace the serpentine belt and two idlers, idler pulleys. They're both smooth pulleys. Uh, the number that I got is SK89505 for the two pulleys. They're the same. And the belt is a 6PK2195. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with the belt other than uh, when they put it on, they damaged one of the ribs. For the power steering, behind the tensioner, around the crankshaft, goes water pump to air conditioning is this way it goes over this idler that way right yep and from the AC it drops down below this idler over the alternator and back so that's how it goes if you start the crankshaft um, going clockwise goes past the tensioner over power steering, over alternator, down to the idler, loops back up, goes over AC, down to the water pump, around the water pump, over the idler, and back to the crankshaft. You also need a 14 millimeter wrench for the idlers. And a 15 millimeter wrench for the tensioner. Put your wrench on the tensioner and rotate it clockwise and then you can grab the belt pretty much any place and slip it off from over top of the pulleys. But I've done this a few thousand times in my life so I don't really need that extra room. Here it is, you can see that when they put it on, a couple of the uh, ribs were damaged. Don't know why that happened. Um, I guess is it wasn't fully seated when they replaced it. It's R tight. So we're going to use the old mechanics trick of a backup wrench on a wrench. To give me a little more leverage. You're going to need, there's the bolt, don't lose the bolt, is one of these has a bad bearing and I'm not 100% sure which one. That one feels pretty smooth, there's nothing wrong with the pulley itself, it's the bearing that is um, making noise and I really don't want to walk. So, the pulley fits on this boss right here. it sits securely, put the bolt in and tighten it. I'm sure there's a torque spec for it, but it was really tight when I took it apart. So it will probably be really tight when I put it back together. Oh, that won't work. Profile of the pulley is different. So, here's a change. This washer does not fit this pulley. On this pulley, the washer fits inside and covers the bearing. This does not, it's too big. So we're just going to put it on without the washer. The washer just helps keep dirt out of here. The original one went 200,000 miles. I'm not too concerned with it. It's not ideal, 
again, these are not factory Subaru parts. That would make a difference. What you do not want to do is pinch the bearing so that it can't turn. That would not be good. Make sure that everything turns normally. Again, these do not have to be as tight probably as it was. This one, same procedure in reverse. Loosen the bolt, remove the pulley. Probably not able to use the washer there either. It's my guess. We'll check this one and see if this is the one that's causing us trouble. I think it is. I used a stethoscope. I think this is the one that's making the noise. No, actually, that one sounds really good. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, it's raining. Lovely. So, bolt. As long as the bolt head covers the center piece, right there, you're good. one with a smooth face out. Don't put them on the other way, that won't work with the open side. Yep, both run smoothly. I believe this is a continental belt. That I ordered. The important thing here is to make sure that the belt is on the ribs correctly. You do not want these belts to be half on the pulley. All the ribs properly engaged or it will damage the belt. This is the least fun part. This is slipped in the groove. Yep. That one's in the groove. That one's in the groove. 